So I uh, <clears throat> recently started to uh, subscribe to a new fishing tackle box. Um, I've been subscribing to a mystery tackle box for a while. Um, I did their walleye box uh, most of last year. And uh, the last couple months I've been doing their uh, inshore, inshore salt. Um, I live a long ways from the ocean, but I've just been wanting to get some baits for when I go down to Cuba and stuff like that. Um, but I decided to give the Simple Fishing um, RLM Elite box a chance. Um, it's a Canadian box. Uh, they're from Alberta. I live in Saskatchewan, so kind of one province over. Um, so this is their Pike box. Um, my number one fishing spot is kind of a channel that leads into a dam at a lake about 20 minutes from my house and it's full of pike so pike are the main fish i catch um and go after so i figured it would be good to get a pike box so let's just go through it real quick uh this is their introductory box uh, i believe it came out in august of 2020 um so uh that's the box that i have this time um, so it comes with their magazine, RLM Elite. Oh, I guess I should show the front of it, our Elite Angler. Uh, so it's got some cool pictures and that sort of thing in it. Some tips about soft baits and hard baits, um, that sort of thing. Um, so first up is a bait called the, uh, Creek Chub Pikey. Um, it's a very big bait, uh, I'm sure you can see it really well here. Uh, I could see pike really going after this. This would catch some pretty big pike. Uh, bigger than I probably catch out of that channel, but I'd give it a chance. There's some pretty big pike in that lake I fish in. Uh, next up is the Liquid Mayhem um, Shad Scent. Um, I have gotten Liquid Mayhem before in some of the Mystery Tackle Boxes. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I tried it a little bit and didn't really have a lot of luck with it, but, uh, uh, whether that's anything against the product or it's just something I'm not used to. So I don't know how I feel about this one, but it's okay. Um, next up are the money minnows from Yum. I'll try to open it up one handed here. second oh there we go so they're quite nice like beefy type plastics um i could see these going quite well too um i've traditionally been more of like a hard bait type fisherman but i want to give these a try i've been wanting to do more with plastics um i bought some weighted hooks recently so i'm hoping that helps with the plastics um so yeah these are very nice probably some of the nicest plastics i've ever bought i've quite a lot of I've quite a, a few plastics from the boxes I've previously got through mystery and I was a subscriber of rush tackle box for a while as well um, but these are really nice um, next up is the rat trap um, so I, di I did a little bit of reading about this lure and it looks through it looks like the uh, here I'll pull it out since it's all coming apart here. Got the rat face going here. Um, so the way I understand this lure is the is the line goes through the nose and you tie it to the hook down here kind of thing. And uh, the hook stays pretty much invisible until the fish bites down on it. Then it flings up kind of thing. Uh, that's why it's called a trap. And... Uh, then it pokes into the fish and it holds them on better. Um, so that's a neat lure I'm kind of looking forward to giving a try. Um, next up is the uh, Father Pike Nikki. Uh, this one I really was excited about when I first saw it in the box. Um, this is the kind of thing I could see Pike in that channel really going for. Um, these are, this is kind of the typical shape of the lures I usually catch pike on there. This one has a lot of movement to it. Um, it's like jointed. I just really like this, the sound it makes, the, f the flow of its body. Just a really cool all around lure. 
Um, next up, I got some Mustad hooks. Uh, these are barbless hooks. Um, I know that's a big thing in Manitoba, one province over. I think all your hooks have to be barbless there. Um, in Saskatchewan, that's not the case, but these still look like quite nice hooks. Um, just a card that's a simple fishing on it. Uh, just kind of a business card kind of thing on how to contact them, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then last up is this Lynn Thompson Simple Fishing um, Diamond Lure. Um, this one I'm pretty excited to get. Um, this is kind of the lure that uh, started the Lynn Thompson Fishing Company. Uh, so Lynn Thompson, it's now based out of Alberta. I think actually pretty close to where Simple Fishing is based. Um, but uh, it used to be um, based in Saskatchewan back in the 50s and 60s I think it was out of this little town called Abernathy which is about two hours from where I live um, so there's kind of a neat Saskatchewan history there and uh, these Leonard Thompson spoons are extremely popular in Saskatchewan they're probably I would have to say without a doubt probably the most purchased lure in Saskatchewan um, and these are really good for pike fishing. Um, I have pretty much the entire line of Lynn Thompson spoons myself. Uh, this one's kind of cool though because it does say simple fishing on it. So that makes it a little different. And I'm pretty excited to have this in my uh, collection. Um, yeah. So uh, hopefully uh, I'll make another video the next box I get. Um, I do want to say I really like the lures in this box. Um, it is pricier the subscription is pricier than like mystery tackle box um last year mystery tackle box was costing me about uh well it's 29 american or it was about 45 canadian uh this one was 55 canadian but with shipping and taxes more like 71 72 canadian something like that but the lures are a lot nicer than what i would get in a mystery tackle box as well um this year I did get a really good deal on Mystery Tackle Box. I bought an entire year's worth of it and I got 20% off for a Black Friday sale. So I'm actually only paying $27 a box for Mystery Tackle Box for the whole next year. Or it works out to $27 a month Canadian. So it is substantially cheaper, about what, two and a half times. But uh the quality is really nice for these and it is nice uh buying from a from a canadian uh district uh canadian company especially one that's one province over right and uh i know some other reviewers have said too like this is the only dedicated pike box which pike is the main fish i catch right i was buying the walleye box through mystery tackle box so similar lures but um definitely the quality was less um, so I'm looking forward to their next box.